Hello friends. So once again, welcome to my channel. In our last video, we have seen some numericals on direct mapping case. What is direct mapping case? Uh, it here, uh, one block of main memory will occupy a particular uh, block number J in the cache memory, right? So next, uh, we are going to see another two more mapping techniques. One is associative ma mapping technique, or we also used to call it as fully associative cache, right? Fully associative cache, the meaning is here, a block of main memory can occupy any free block in the cache memory. So a block can be placed anywhere in the cache. That means for a block of main memory, the position in the cache is not fixed. Wherever you get a place, you take the position, right? So a block can be placed anywhere in the cache. So there is no specific or fixed position in the cache for a block in the, uh, for a block of the main memory in the cache memory, right? So there is no fixed or specific position in the cache for a block in the main memory, right? For a main memory block, we are not going to assign any fixed position in the cache. So what will be the beauty of this uh, method? The beauty of this method will be we are not going to send in uh, a block from the cache memory. That means we are not going to call a replacement algo until and unless the cache is completely full because there is no fixed position for a block in the cache memory. Anyone can take any position in the cache. So until and unless it is completely full, we need not have to send any block of the cache into the main memory for making room for an incoming block, right? That means no replacement is required until and unless case is completely full. So in this mapping technique, replacement of a block is not required in the case until and unless the case is completely full, right? But to f this part is uh, the advantage of this associative case. Then the disadvantage associated is the searching time will be more. If I am looking for a block, I in the cache. This is my main memory position of the block, right? Main memory block I in the cache. Tag of the incoming block. That means the tag of block I need to be compared with all the tags stored in the cache. Because I don't know where, where the block can be found. It can occupy any block in the cache. So for all of these tags, the incoming blocks tag will be matched. Wherever there is a, uh, means, Whenever there is a successful search, that means the, the tag is matching, successful matching, then only we will say the block is present in the cache or we say it is a hit in the cache. So searching time will be more. That is the problem here because you need to see every block. So that will take some time. In generally, it is done in parallel search method that is called as associative search. So see here, the main memory address will be divided into two parts only tag and word. Why? Because now for a block of the uh, main memory, there is no fixed position in the cache. So we do not have any index or block, block field here. Only what we will be having? The word field. What, after we get one particular block, there we need to get the data item inside the block. For that, this word field is there. And we are continuing with the example that I was doing before. That means in my main memory, we have got 4096 blocks and size of each block is what? 16 bytes. And the cache memory consists of 128 blocks. With that example only we are moving. So what field will require 4 bits. Main memory total address is 16 bit because of 64K size. So tag field will be the remaining bits. That is 12K, right? That means uh, for one particular position in the cache, how many contenders of main memory will be there? 2 to the power 12 that is 4096 any one of the 4096 block can take a position in the cache so this particular position um, can be occupied by any one of them so tag field is 12 bit next is so see first we have seen direct map cache where our position is fixed the disadvantage was though the cache was not full we need to do the replacement next we have seen fully associative cache where any block of main memory can occupy any position in the cache that is giving us advantage but searching time was more. So the next method we are coming up by taking the advantage of both the methods and giving the advantage as a whole. 
so set associative case next method is set associative case the idea is the whole cache memory the uh, here the position of a main memory block is not completely fixed and it cannot occupy any free block in the cache as well that means the whatever problems are associated in the previous two methods both are nullified that means my position is also not fixed and even i cannot occupy any of the free block i will do something in between what is that in between is a main memory block can occupy any of the free blocks from a specific set of blocks so here we are going to have here we are going to create some sets and in the set whatever blocks are there out of them my main memory block can occupy any one of them suppose my set consists of four blocks so first my position is fixed with respect to the set that means uh, what it is telling you that suppose in the cache memory we are creating sets of uh, four four blocks so my position is fixed with respect to the set but particular block number is not fixed set is fixed now inside this set we can occupy any one of these four position i may occupy this one or it may this one any one of them and to occupy this they need to be free right then next is so the thing is here we are not specifying a particular block but from a set of block we can occupy any of the position so cache memory is organized as a set of blocks there may be two blocks in the set may be four blocks in a set or any number m may be number of blocks in the one set and this number of blocks present in a set is called as a way number we used to say four way set associative it is a set because four number of blocks are there in a set so how many blocks are there in the set four so we used to say four way set associative cache two way set associative cache m way set associative cache so and here for a main memory block i it, uh, it will be mapped to a particular set not to a particular block to a particular set so where j is what i mod the number of sets in the cache previously it was number of blocks in the cache this time it is number of sets in the cache whatever value i will get into that particular set block i of the main memory will be mapped into and then inside that set whatever block is free we can occupy any one of them so the main memory block i will be mapped to any one of the blocks present in the set j the idea is understood then next to now see to find a main memory block i in the cache how many blocks we need to check only inside the set so inside the set we may have 4 may have 16 may 8 may 2 so whatever number of blocks are there inside a set for all of them we will see they are tagged with my incoming block i tag if they are matching then it is a hit else it is a miss so to find a main memory block i in the cache the tag of block i will be compared only with the tags of the blocks present in the set j so see searching time is reduced and we are not going see benefits you can realize here so searching time is now becoming lesser right replacement that the problem that was there in our direct map replacement of a block is required only when all the blocks in a set is occupied all the blocks are occupied none of them are free and an incoming block is mapped into that particular set then only we need to do the replacement so for direct map cache what will be the way number it will be 1 because there is means the our specific position is fixed so in case of direct mapping the way number will be 1 that means we are having the number of sets equal to the number of blocks in the cache memory and one set consists of one block right so way number is 1 set can be formed using one member also so like that and in case of fully associative what will be the way number in case of fully associative cache way number will be nothing but the total number of blocks present in the cache memory so see the number of blocks in the cache that is the way number for whom for associative see sometimes i used to say associative sometimes full associative meaning is same only here main memory address will be divided into three parts for set associative there will be three parts one is tag whether i am there set means into which particular set the block will go and the word field to find out the data item 
inside the block we have the word field right so there are three fields will be there in the main memory address whereas in associative only text and word was there reason is already discussed so to find the bits in the set field what we will do we need to find the number of sets in the cache how can we do that the number of blocks in the cache memory if we know the number of blocks in the cache memory will divide it by way number that means the number of elements in a set so if i'll do that i'll get the set number in the cache then what we will do then we'll express that number whatever number we get after this division in the powers of 2 and whatever my exponent comes up that will be nothing but length of the set field the number of bits present in the set field and tag field tag field to find the bits in the tag field what we used to do that how many blocks are mapped into the particular set so we need to find the number of blocks in the main memory divided by number of sets in the cache then whatever value we are getting we'll express it in powers of 2 and taking the exponent as the length length means the number of bits present in the tag field that will be the most higher order bits tag field next are set field and the lower order bits are nothing but word field and already i have discussed how to find the word uh, number of bits in the word field that depends on the block size block size you express it in powers of 2 whatever exponent comes up that is the length of the word field that already we have seen in direct map cache so see continue with the same example right in the main memory we have got 4096 total number of blocks numbering starts from 0 so last number is 4095 and in the cache memory how many set uh, blocks were there 128 and now we are taking it as a two way set associative cache two way set associative what does it mean two two blocks will be there in one one set so block 0 block 1 will be there in one set that is set 0 block 2 and 3 in set 1 4 and 5 in another set the last block 126 and 127 will be in the set number 63 so here we have got total 128 blocks divided by my way number is 2 we will get what 64 so 64 you express it in powers of 2 it is 2 to the power 6 and 6 will be the length of your set field right what field is 4 because my block size is 16 bytes because of that it is 4 now tag field how to find out tag field number of total blocks in the main memory is what 4096 that is what 2 to the power 12 that is 4096 number of sets in the cache it is what 2 to the power 6 64 right so this value is what 2 to the power 6 so this is my exponent and that is the length of tag field this is how we can divide the main memory address into three components right and after this next we are going to see the numericals on fully associative and set associative map cache see here with the colors also you can make out block 0 will go to set number 0 how i can find out that main memory block i will occupy set number j where j is what 0 mode here 64 0 mode 64 will be 0 1 mode 64 will be 1 so block number um, see uh, this one uh, this uh, this block 1 will occupy set number 1 these numbers are my cache memory blocks and this color indicates into which set i will be mapped to i means the main memory block so this is how we can do and see the beauty of this method is it is getting the advantage of direct map as well as associative mapping also that means searching time is also not very high as well as we are not um, making one specific position rather in a set we can occupy any position so this is all about from set associative map cache thank you